polymer manufacturing equipment such as extruders and injection molding machines are outfitted with various sensors, which allow the operators to monitor process variables, maintain safety, and avoid downtime in product output. For over 60 years, Dynisco has provided precision pressure measurement and control devices for all manner of plastic manufacturing equipment which end users have come to rely on. In this demonstration, we will show you how to commission a pressure sensor with a Dynisco Model 1490 indication device. The technician will offer guidance through each step of the pressure sensor commissioning process, from taking the sensor out of the box, to wiring the sensor with the instrument, and then finally setting the parameter requirements to system operation. Step 1. Unpacking the pressure sensor. The technician removes the sensor from the box and then examines the process connection and diaphragm for damage. In the unlikely situation where damage is discovered, Dynisco recommends that the customer document the damage, then return the sensor to Dynisco for evaluation. Note that all returns require authorization, so please contact your Dynisco customer service department for further assistance. Step 2. Selecting the cable assembly. Once the sensor has been checked for damage, the technician selects the proper cable assembly to use with the pressure sensor and instrument. In this case, the cable assembly selected has a length of 10 feet, which includes a 6-pin Bendix mating connector. There are 6 bare wires on the end of the cable, which are colored to identify the corresponding pin and function. The standard connection pin out for a cable used with a pressure sensor that has a 0 to 33.3 millivolt output would be as follows. The red wire is connected to pin A and is signal positive. The black wire is connected to pin B and is signal negative. The white wire is connected to pin C and is excitation positive. The green wire is connected to pin D and is excitation negative. The blue wire is connected to pin E and is calibration wire 1 and the orange wire is connected to pin F and is calibration wire 2. Step 3. Unpacking and wiring the instrument. The selected indication device or controller is removed from the box and examined for damage. In the unlikely event damage is discovered, Dynisco recommends that the customer document the damage and then return the instrument to Dynisco for evaluation. Once cleared for use, the instrument can be wired for main power input on terminals 13 and 14, provided the instrument has been mounted in a safe enclosure and a qualified electrician is bringing power to the instrument per the documented requirements. Please review the operator's manual for further details. Note, there is no reason to power up the instrument in this step. Power should be supplied after the sensor cable has been connected to the instrument and there are no operator exposure to screw terminals. Step 4. Connecting the sensor cable assembly to the instrument. With the cable assembly in hand, the bare wires are terminated to the instrument based on the signal output of the pressure sensor. In this example, our pressure sensor has a 0 to 33.3 millivolt output and will utilize all six wires. The correct wiring termination is as follows. Red wire on terminal 2 black wire on terminal 3, white wire on terminal 4, green wire on terminal 5, blue wire on terminal 6, and orange wire on terminal 7. Step 5. Connecting the cable assembly to the pressure sensor. Once the cable assembly has been secured to the screw terminals on the instrument, the technician will then connect the Bendix mating connector to the electronics of the pressure sensor. There is a key way that will allow for the connector to align with the corresponding pins correctly and then twist lock in place. Step 6. Supplying power and setting parameters on the instrument. With the sensor connected, it is now safe to supply power to the instrument and then enter the configuration mode. To enter configuration mode, the technician must press the set key and the up arrow at the same time and then release. The display will read SELECT and then the technician will need to press the up arrow key until the display shows CONF, which is the configuration mode. With CONF on the display, 
The technician then will press the set key to enter configuration and then U-Lock appears. To unlock this mode, press the up arrow until the number 20 is reached and once again press the set key to enter. The technician now enters the appropriate parameter settings to match the pressure sensor output range, desired alarm settings, retransmission signal, and other attributes. Step 7. Calibration of the pressure sensor with instrumentation. Dynisco recommends that the pressure sensor be brought up to process temperature with zero pressure applied for calibration with the process instrumentation. The technician enters the submenu to access the calibration function. This is accomplished by pressing the set key and the up arrow at the same time, then release in order to display the word select. With select on the display, the technician presses the up arrow key until the word UCAL appears. And then once again, the set key is used to enter the calibration mode. U-lock appears, and then the up arrow key is pressed until the number 10 is reached. The technician then presses the set key again to access calibration function. After confirmation of the shunt value of 80%, the instrument prompts the technician to test the high and low calibration points via the up and down arrow keys as demonstrated. Once the high and low points have been tested, the indication device will display done, then the calibration is complete. With the sensor and instrument calibrated, the technician can then exit the calibration mode by pressing the set key and the up arrow once, and then pressing the up arrow until OPTR is showing. The set key is pressed once more, and after a quick cycle, the 1490 will display pressure. Dynisco recommends this step be repeated any time the sensor exhibits pressure readings that appear abnormal or if the sensor has been swapped out. Please visit our Knowledge Center at Dynisco.com for helpful information about calibrating our pressure sensors.